Hello everybody, today we're going to be doing a comparison between the iPod Touch 5th generation and the iPod Touch 6th generation. This is mostly going to be a speed comparison between the two iPods, but we're also going to be comparing them in some other areas like camera and some of the new software features. So the first thing we're going to do is just compare the designs of the two iPods. So really they're exactly the same, not very much changed in the three years. Um, keep in mind that this is a 16 gigabyte iPod 5, so it doesn't have the camera or the iPod loop or any of the color options, but the one that does is pretty much exactly the same as the iPod 6, um, except that they removed the iPod loop this time, so that is that feature is gone. Um, but other than that, they're really exactly the same, except for some of the colors. So on the iPod 6, a lot of the colors are um, more vibrant and bold, so the blue, as we have here, is a little bit darker and more vibrant. And then there's a new pink, which is more bold, and then the silver is exactly the same. And then the, they added a gold color, which is exactly the same as the iPhones and iPads that are gold, and that replaced the yellow. And then the space gray is a little bit darker, and then the product red is the same. So comparing the designs of these two, you can see that this one has a polished Apple logo, so it um, shines, and then this one is just flat, and as well as the buttons. These ones are color matched, as are they with the iPod 5. So, um, yeah, not really a big design change. They're both the same exact size and weight. So, next up, we're going to do some speed comparisons. So, the first one I'm going to do is just turning them on, so seeing how long it takes for them to fully boot up. So let's first of all power them off. And I will do a stopwatch on my other iPod. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Um, I'll just have to start the stopwatch a little bit after. So I'm gonna push the buttons in three, two, one. So you can see that the Apple logo came up a lot faster on the iPod 6, and you can also see that this is a white screen with a black Apple logo, this is a black screen with a white Apple logo, and this is pretty much how Apple, all Apple devices were after the iPhone 5S came out in September 2013, it's with a white screen, and you can see it already booted up, so I'm going to call that about 20 seconds, as you can see. Um, the iPod 5 is still going. So we'll wait for that. And um, I'm going to call that about 48 seconds. So as you can see, the iPod 6 is about two and a half times faster booting up, which is really nice. So um, next of all, um, we should launch some apps to see how long it takes. So the first app we're going to launch is FaceTime, so we'll do that in 3, 2, 1. You can see it came up almost instantly on the iPod 6, and then it took a little bit longer on the iPod 5. Uh, next up, we're going to launch Settings, because I know that this is a pretty big difference, so 3, 2, 1. Again, it was pretty much instant on the iPod 6, and it kind of stalled a little bit on the iPod 5. And now I'm going to launch one more, so I'll just do the camera. So again, it was almost instant, only a little bit slower on the iPod um, 5. By the way, both of these iPods are pretty much exactly the same. They both have the exact same content on them, which is nothing at all. And um, they're both on the same Apple ID and the same Wi-Fi network. So now I'm going to launch the App Store because I know this takes a really long time on the iPod 5. So. Let's do that. So it came up pretty quick on the iPod 6, still not like super fast. Um, and now uh, I'll download an app, so see how long that takes. Takes a while for this to load. So I'm going to download Musical.ly. I need to type in my password really quickly. And now it's starting to download. I should switch these. So you can see this one is already about a third of the way done. Um, the iPod 5. 
fourth of the way done. And it's already done. So it was about twice as fast to download it. I should have done a stopwatch, but I didn't. And now I'm going to launch Musical.ly because um, I know it takes a really long time to launch on the iPod 5. So let's go ahead and do that. So pretty fast on the iPod 6. And we're still waiting for this one. And there we go. So. Um, I, again, I didn't do a stopwatch, but I say that's about three times as fast on the iPod 6, so that's really good. Close out, out all the apps now. So next, we're going to compare the speaker quality, because I know they made the speaker a lot louder on the iPod 6. So I'm going to go to YouTube and play a song. They'll both be at full volume. So that was a quick speaker comparison. You can see that the iPod 6 is definitely a lot louder and better quality, I think. There's also some new software features on the iPod 6 that I'd like to point out. So first of all, when you swipe to the left, you have all of your Siri app suggestions. There is no Siri app suggestions pane on the iPod 5, however, so, that's a, um, so that feature is only on here. And also, when you go to Spotlight Search, of course, it's a lot faster on the iPod 6, but you also have your Siri app suggestions here, and they're not on here. So, um, also, in Control Center, um, usually there would be a flashlight on the iPod 5 because it does have a camera which has an LED flash, but this is the 16 gigabyte. But this does have Night Shift, which the iPod 5 doesn't because it's not new enough, I guess. So yeah, night shift, um, and I'm sure you guys know what that is. And um, also, this has Bluetooth 4.0, and this has Bluetooth 4.1, and what else? I don't know. The camera, I mean, we can't really compare them because this doesn't have a camera, but basically the iPod 5 had a 5 megapixel camera, which could record 1080p video, and um, all that. It was pretty much the same camera as the iPhone 5, except it was 5 megapixels instead of 8, and um, also I don't know if it had a sapphire crystal lens cover like the iPhone 5, I think it was just glass, but correct me if I'm wrong. The iPod um, 6 has an 8 megapixel iSight camera, which is basically the same camera on the iPad Air, records 1080p video, and, um, and it's a f2.4 aperture unlike the iPhone 5S is f2.2 um, but the and the front facing camera is also a little bit better quality they're both 1.2 megapixels um, but the iPhone iPod 6s is, is improved but yeah um, the iPod 6s camera is definitely a lot better so there is that and that is pretty much going to wrap up our comparison between the iPod 5 and the iPod 6. I really hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and obviously subscribe to my channel and have a great day.